Hello, welcome to the 2021 Web Engines Hackfest. And now we will talk a little bit about WPE quality assurance. So we will start seeing a bit about how CI and testing is made in WebKit. Uh, we'll see a little bit about some developer tools we have been using to improve the developer experience and some plans and challenges we have been facing in future work we are planning. So, continuous integration in WebKit. The two main systems are the early on system and the post commit one. Both are build, based on BuildBot where a build server assigns jobs to queues which in turn send steps to remote workers. Um, but first a little bit of terminology. There's ports which are flavors of Fabricate, for example the Mac port, the iOS port, the GTK, WP, PlayStation, WinCairo and so on. Uh, configuration is the tuple of port and build type. In, for example, we have the JTK release, WP debug, JTK release Whalen, and there's the Mac, Big Sur, WK2, and so on. Job uh, a job is made of sequence of steps that will be run and these steps are the unities of work. For example there are step to check out revision, a step to build a kit, to run a, sp a specific suite and to install the dependencies, upload the test results and etc. And the, the, most of these steps are run in workers which are the remote services executing them. Uh, for example, in the case of JTK and WP, most workers are LXE containers. Uh, first, the AWS, the early one system, is the first line of defense. It's made of 36 queues. Some of these queues are AWS specific, for example, the style check queue which checks if the the proposed patch is is following the style the coding style of WebKit. There are some queues that run just a subset of tests. For example if I'm working on WebKit Pi, which is the support library for most tools, there's a queue that runs only the WebKit Pi tests. So it's way, way faster than waiting the entire suite to, to be run. And the, the AWS jobs are triggered when you submit a patch for a review. And as such, it's very resource intensive. So there are dozens of patches uh, submitted daily and the, this is the most resource heavy uh, system and one other issue that makes it very greedy is because sometimes EWS has to run a given patch uh, for a given patch EWS has to run the test three times for example you submit a patch it runs the first time, there's a failure. EWS has to rerun the test without the, the patch to see whether this regression was part of the patch or if it was due to an already existing failure. Uh, at worst, sometimes the tests are rerun twice in the case of uh, flakes and other issues. 
And for example, this is the screenshot of a patch with the the AWS bubbles that give the feedback to the about the results for a given patch. If any regression is found, then the the bubble turns red and the developer can check what what was the the problem. For the post commit bots, they are the jobs are triggered when a patch lands in the main repository. Nowadays it's still SVN, but we are in the, in the process to move to GitHub. And the post commit bots uh, runs the the full test suite. Uh, the, we have 77 queues, about 77 queues right now. Uh, a few of them are specific to post commit, for example, the packaging bots that create nightly packages. And the post commit test bots, uh, they act as the official test results, uh, like the last the the last word whether a revision is making a test fail or not. The test suites that we have in WebKit, the main one is the layout tests, are the layout tests. They include the imported WPT tests and they run against uh, JavaScript core, HTML and CSS code and the, the rendered result the generated result is compiled either to a textual baseline when we dump the the render tree or uh, we are moving to use more reference tests where a reference HTML file then is compar compared pixel 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 by pixel to the test case and we have over 6, 60k test cases nowadays. We also have the API tests, we, that which tests the WebKit from a developer point of view. For example, we have uh, functions to set up uh, cookie policies and uh, signals, uh, callbacks, and so on. So this the API tests cover the these functionalities. And as there's a separate API for each port, there's a separate set of API tests for each port too. Although we have a common a common set of API tests that cover the share the each test implementing each port implementing the WebKit C API. And on top of the C API, each port creates the, their own API. We also have a JavaScript tests. Uh, focused on JavaScript core, the, there are conformance tests like uh, test 262 and there are also stress tests which the stress tests especially can be quite heavy, uh, Hazos heavy as the name implies. And we also have other smaller, smaller suites like WebDriver which it will have its own talk and WebKit Py, WebKit Pearl that support the other scripts used in WebKit and the bindings which glue the mini code around the web, WebKit to WebCore and other parts of the project. And testing in WP. Currently, WP has one build on the queue with two workers in the WP release configuration. It, EWS nowadays tests only whether WP is building. API coverage comes from the JITK API bot. We are working on there's 
already uh, it's <coughs> almost ready the GTK layout test uh, EWS bot and we are planning to add more uh, coverage later, more, more on the plans in the following. For the post commit bots, we have two groups of tests, two groups of, of bots. Uh, ma uh, mainly, we have the release bots and the debug bots. Um, there's a release builder and a debug builder. Each one generates uh, build products that will be used in the test queues. The for release, there's one release bot for layout tests, API and web driver, and another for JavaScript tests. And the same for debug. There's a debug test for layout, API and web driver, and another for JavaScript tests. The reason for this split is because, especially the debug JavaScript tests, take uh, in WPE in WPE took a uh, few hours to run. So we decided to, to split to have fewer revisions between jobs to improve the to get faster feedback whether a given revision was making a, a test fail or not instead of searching for 12 revisions in the debug bot you can check five or three revisions and also we have the packaging bots for ubuntu the latest ubuntu lts versions and these packaging bots they are used for example they can be used for example in the WPT project to to have a a, a ready to run WP um, archive. For coverage, uh, WP runs about 51k layout tests, GTK almost 60 and Big Sur WK2 runs 60k 60, 60 tests. And in this chart we can see the number of passing WP tests. The, there are the, since uh, early 2019 and we, as we can see the number of passing tests is, is increasing steadily uh, especially due to uh, improvements in WPE itself, tests being, being unskipped and newer tests being imported from WPT. In Orange there, there are skipped tests, there are still a considerable number of tests skipped, but this also includes the Mac and iOS and other platform spe specific tests that will not be unskipped. And in blue we have the expected failures or known failures that we we instruct the test suite to to record. And uh, in regressions we try to, to keep the number as small as possible and this is one of the main jobs of the, the gardeners to, and also in orange the flakies which are which happens when you when you a test fails and in subsequent run it passes so for example this is one of the as I said this is one of the issues uh, that um, slows the EWS system. So, as you can see, we since late last year we have been dealing with a small number of uh, flakes. Now about developer tools. The main tool we have been using is the Flatpak SDK, which replaces the old GH build environment. 
The Flatpak SDK is built with BuildStream using the free desktop Flatpak SDK and both WPE and GTK are already built and tested inside the Flatpak by default and the bots already have been converted to, to it. Only the, if I recall correct, correctly, the packaging bots are still using uh, build. Uh, Flatpak SDK also uh, allows us to have an improved uh, uh, reproducibility where the, there was an issue with, an issue with the test failing on the bots but passing in the developer's machine and now with the flat, Flatpak SDK we keep the environment uh, as close as possible to, to the bots and this helped uh, reproduce issues and the Flatpak SDK also already has many tools bundled like GCC, Clang, RR, GST Build and others and the SDK source is kept in the WebKit repository which helps for example in the current work to move from sub2 to, to support to add support to sub3 from sub2 to sub2 so as the the sub2 sub3 version is bumped with new features we can bump the version in the, in the SDK and it will follow closely the webkit uh, changes itself. We also have the WebKit search, which is based on SearchFox and used and also uses more search. It's helpful to navigate a huge code base like WebKit. And this is a screenshot of the uh, the website. It's currently hosted on WebKit searchgaliacom and it's searching for Interact and as you can see it support it, it searched both uh, textually and the definitions and usage and so on. For the results database we have the results.webkit.org and it's, it keeps the layout test results for each test and for each build as you can see the first three lines are the GTK ones then we have the iOS and the Mac and the last two lines are the WPE ones and it's very useful to see when a regression was introduced and whether a test is flaky or not we also have the WebKit Test Hunter. It's a command line tool with a long, long, long term history, uh, dating for to to test results from years ago, and it's updated daily. And now some some challenges and plans that we have for the that we are working now and we plans for the future. Regarding bot management this is probably the, the main the main issue right now and as the bots are manually managed through SSH, SSH and they are also manually deployed with some helper scripts this makes it uh, hard to just uh, kick up uh, uh, reboot uh, reboot or uh, install a, a, a bot uh, to get a pristine environment again for example uh, the disks filling up and leftover built results uh, artifacts and so on and nowadays we have over 40 workers for both GTK, uh, for GTK, WP and JavaScript Core 32 bits also Handle, handled by Igalia 
And some workers, especially in the case of GSC, there are some workers that manage embedded boards to run the tests on actual hardware. There's already work in progress to move to an Ansible based setup to manage the bots. Uh, it's already being used in the in the GSC bots, and we are planning to improve it to manage or to help manage all the the bots. There, there are still some big blocks of tests that are skipped, like the WebKit zone tests for compositing and editing and inspector. They need to be unskipped in Trojan. And also, we still have two main, we also have two main tests. And there are some out, outdated expectations. And we are working to improve the garden experience, uh, improving documentation and the tooling to fetch the results from a given build to check whether a test was flaky or not and also the Flatpak SDK helped uh, to, to make updates and propagate the, the, the common environment and also we moved to uh, shared expectations and baselines to, with GTK especially in tests that use the shared uh, glib, glib bits between both bots. And we also have some new bots planned, um, like sanitizers for the address sanitizer and undefined behavior sanitizers. We also have plans to add uh, fuzzing bot for JSC and networking especially and add more workers to improve the EWS response time and coverage like uh, notified builder uh, we are uh, already at the time uh, as of end of April we are working to, to add one notified builder to to track uh, build failures in when doing no unified builders which happens to the unified build scheme ha happens to introduce a subtle include uh, failures that work under unified build but in the end uh, they generate uh, incorrect uh, they, they're missing some includes and some linkage yeah, errors. And the WB tests in EWS, we also want to, to make sure to cover the WP tests in EWS to avoid just reacting to, to post commit failures. And also we need to we are planning to improve the performance testing with which has been lagging a bit behind due to the work on the conformance testing. There's the WPT sync issue. It's still a manual process in WebKit as a whole. Despite we still have some helper scripts, but the both the process to submit a patch to WPT, a new test to WPT and update them. And pulling updated tests from WPT, uh, there's some manual steps. And the, for the updating the SDK, currently we build locally on uh, on the develop on each developer matching that's updating the, the SDK. We have no staging area, so we had some some scares in the past where uh, botch uh, update was pushed and there's work in progress to use the flat manager tool to automate updates so once a, a, a commit is made to the SDK source code the flat manager would pick up and rebuild, uh, build the new version of the SDK and submit to to the repository 
and we need to we are planning to to improve embedded testing as currently all WPE bots are x86 machines x64 bits machines and we are planning to deploy some bots uh, using initially Raspberry Pis and maybe later adding other platforms like one boards and so on. and that's it thank you